من العاصمة لندن المتحف البريطاني لندن بتستقبل حفل الجولدن روز اليوروفيجن واليورو راديو اووردز هالحفل هو اختيار وتكريم ابرز واهم ما انتج من برامج منوعات وترفيهية للاذاعات الاوروبية التلفزيونية والراديو خليكم معنا لنتابع التفاصيل Well, it's very exciting to host the show because they've had record numbers of entries. There are so many awards given now. You can win an award for the best interview on television done in December. There are so many. This is an award that matters. It's been going since 1961. In the UAE, they've entered. In Korea, they've entered. In the well, the Eurovision Rose Door exists for more than 50 years, so it has produced a lot of great winners and a lot of great nominees. And what I see this year is that the competition is it's fierce and, and very hard. And I see that a lot of British nominees uh, end up to be, uh, to be nominated. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's a wonderful feeling to win a Lifetime Achievement Award, but it is tinged with a little worry, shall we say, because is it a way of being told to shut up? Thank you, your life is over. Please be quiet. Stop it. Um, there's a feeling that may be the case, but uh, I'm going to pretend it doesn't mean that, and I'm still allowed to carry on making television and doing the things I love. Uh, it's a wonderful honor. I, I, I mean, I remember as a small boy, uh, they always used to report. Well, it's a great show, actually. It's, um, we, um, we, we're up to our third season in Canada, and it's about the joys. And well, we're thrilled to be nominated. I mean, this is a European award, and I'm American, and as you know, things in Europe are better, and there's more prestige to be nominated for anything European. So for me, uh, you know, a simple farmer. I'm gonna need a bigger microphone. 